Okay, so those of you that follow my channel or have seen my videos, you know my love of the Titanic as well as other historic ships. I have also created videos showing the histories of many of my passions, including one of my childhood heroes, Jacques Cousteau. And last but not surely is my love of Star Trek and the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. As a matter of fact, I love the USS Enterprise CVN-65 as well. But today I would like to share something with you that is totally different. This vessel is absolutely enormous. She is also quite beautiful as well, dressed out in bright green, and she was very graceful despite her size. I usually show you ocean liners and their related history. I have also shown you the cruise ship Ada Blue as well. The Ada Blue was the first cruise ship I have shown you. Her size was impressive, as well as being quite possibly the world's cutest ship afloat. Today I would like to show you a ship, however, that is much, much larger. Today's subject is a cargo ship. It is part of history in the way that, as of this writing, December 23rd, 2022, it is the largest cargo ship in the world. At over 13,012 feet long, she would dwarf the RMS Titanic by well over 400 feet. This huge vessel has the ability to transport almost 24,000 TEUs. By the way, a TEU is a unit of measurement that stands for 20 foot equivalent units. These units are 20 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 8 feet 6 inches tall. The 20 foot containers can come with an open top or with refrigeration. The Everace is owned by the Noel Shipping Corporation in the Philippines, and she is operated by the Evergreen Marine Corporation located in Taiwan. You can check them out at www.evergreen-marine.com. This gigantic ship will be ordered by the Evergreen Marine Corporation in 2020. The ship was to be called the Ever Ace. This ship would be the first planned in what would be the largest cargo ship in existence to this point. This ship is even larger than the Ever Given, which made the news by being stuck and blocking the Suez Canal. Despite being even larger, the Ever Ace would cross the canal by successfully crossing it on August 28, 2021 without incident. In appreciation of this accomplishment, the Egyptian authorities would present Captain Yang with a bouquet. Costing approximately $150 million, the Ever Ace was built by the Samsung Heavy Industries Corporation. She was built in South Korea, and her yard number is 2358. The ship's IMO number is 9893890. The Ever Ace will be delivered on July 28, 2021. Her call letters are 3E2382, and her official number is 52729-21. The ship is classified as a container ship, and her gross tonnage is 235,579 tons. Her beam is 202 feet, and her draft is 55 feet 9 inches. She is propelled by Winterthur X92-B 11-cylinder engines that create 58,600 kilowatts, equaling 78,584 standard horsepower. Think about that for a moment. The RMS Titanic engines generated 30,000 standard horsepower. This huge ship has the capacity to carry 23,992 20-foot equivalent units. She has a cruising speed of 22.63 knots. The ship carries the flag of Panama, and her registered home port is in Panama City. She was currently transporting cargo for the China-Europe Mediterranean Service, or CEM, schedule. 
Her maiden voyage was on July 30th of 2021, and she made her way to Quindao Port in Shandong. The huge ship is commanded by Captain H.M. Yang. The Ever Ace has set the bar to excellence and is currently the new standard for cargo shipping.